A subform is inserting one form into another. Why would I want to do that? Well, I've got my main form here. I've got the customer name and the salesperson. And what I'd like to do is insert a form here. And when I insert it, it'll be known as a subform into the form here. That's based upon the book sales table. So that way, when I come down here and I navigate from one record to the next, for example, like home builders, I'll be able to see their corresponding books that they purchased from us in that sub form, which is based upon the book sales table. Okay. Now, when it comes to inserting one form into another, we need to know that these tables that these forms are based upon are related. If they're not related, this isn't going to work. And it makes sense because, you know, I want to see the related uh, books that this client has purchased in a list down below. So if I know that the subform is going to be based upon the book sales table, then I need to know what query or table this customer's main form is based upon so that I can go ahead and check out in the relationships window if they are related. So to find out what table this form is based upon, go ahead and right click in a blank area, go to the design view, come off the grid here in a blank area, double click really fast, it does two things. Because I double clicked, it selected the form and then it brought up the property sheet. And you can see that the selection type of the property sheet is the entire form. That way, when I come down here on the Alt tab, it says, okay, what is this form based upon? The record source, it's the customer table, okay? You go ahead and close out, right click, go back to the form view. So we have the customer table this form is based upon, and then the subform that I'm gonna insert is gonna be based upon the book sales table. Are those two tables related? To find out, as you recall in the Access Level 1 training video on relationships, come up here, click on the Database Tools tab, come down here to the Relationships group and click on Relationships. And there we go. Customers is related to the book sales table. You got the link there. And it's a one-to-many relationship. So for every one customer, they could have many uh, orders. Now as a side note, if you don't have a relationship here, but you have the same fields, you know, customer ID, customer ID, and they've got the same data type, same type of data within those fields. But again, if I right clicked and I deleted this relationship and they weren't linked up, you could still insert the subform. Takes a little bit extra work, but it can be done. I'll go ahead and show you both ways, but let me go ahead and close out of here. And to insert that subform, let's right click and go to our design view. Come up here on the design tab to the controls group, click on the more button, and it's right there. Subform, sub report. But wait, we also have sub report, and we'll show you in a later training video that you can insert one report into another. But it's the same button here, so go ahead and click on it. Move your mouse down until you can see the plus sign. Plus means to add. What are you adding? Well, the little icon displays the subform sub report. Go ahead and click. Opens up the wizard. It'll ask us a bunch of questions. We give it answers. Based upon those answers, it'll go ahead and create a sub form. Insert the form into the main form that's going to be based upon the book sales table. The sub form, that is. Now, you'll notice that I don't have a form down here that I can insert into this form that's based upon and name the book sales table. That's okay because Access will go ahead and create one for us if we don't have a form. You can see the forms here. I'm not going to use an existing one. I'm just going to go ahead and say, well, I know what table it's based upon, so we'll go ahead and leave it selected there, click Next, and then click on the drop-down arrow and choose that table, Book Sales, and it'll list its corresponding fields down below. Let's go ahead and click on the All button. We'd like to see all, except I don't want to see the customer ID. Let me double-click on it to remove it. The reason being is I already have the customer ID up here in the main form, and to see their corresponding orders down below, I don't need to uh, have that customer ID duplicated again. Now, this only works removing the customer ID if you have those tables related, and mine are. So I can go ahead and click Next, because behind the scenes, Access will be able to say, okay, I know you, you don't want to view the customer ID, but I can still see that it's got the same data type as customer ID in the form in the uh, customer table, which the uh, main form is based upon, so that's okay. And because it can see it, it says down below, it says, look, I see that you have a customer ID in the book sales table and the customer table. So do you want me to go ahead and show the book sales for each record in the customer table using the customer ID? Like I said, this will only display and only work if you have that relationship set up. If not, then you can come up here and say, well, it's not listed here. Let me see if I can define it myself. So in the main form that's based upon the customer table, when I click on the drop down arrow and it lists all those fields, okay, it's the customer ID, we know that. Now in the sub form that we're going to be inserting that's based upon the um, book sales, when I click on it, I don't see a customer ID. And the reason being is that when I click back, I didn't add the customer ID over here. So you see what I'm saying? If you have them related, then you don't have to worry about this. But if you don't have that relationship tied, then you have to add the customer ID here, okay? And then click Next. And then, of course, when it comes to defining it, if you define my own, you can select the customer ID from there. 
and the customer ID in the subform and click next okay let me click back let me go ahead and remove the customer ID because I did it right let's hope that you do it too in any case let's go ahead and move on without the customer ID because we have that relationship set up and then just go ahead and leave that selected we want to show the book sales for each record in the customer table using the customer ID click next and then go ahead and name this a uh, subform which could be F sub F for form sub for well sub then go ahead and click finish and let's take it for a test drive come up here click on the view button because I'm too eager there we go customer let's go to the next one Ooh, it displays it updates it it's related for happy town play world I'm able to view all the uh, books that this client has purchased and I can scroll down and view them all here now it's a bit short I mean it's cutting off uh, some of the fields here if you want you and I've got tons of room here I can go ahead and right click in a blank area go back to the design view and then all you have to do is hover over one of the uh, handles like the left middle handle you can see the two-way arrow click and drag to stretch it open now if you click off and you want to go ahead and uh, adjust it and you try to click on the border it's best just to click in the center of it and you can see the border around it and then you can hover over the right handle and stretch it open in any case let me okay click on the view button and oh that looks a bit better and I could even stretch it more vertically too because I have a lot of room down below and then you can see the uh, title for the uh, subform which is book sales not only did it insert it in here but as I mentioned I didn't have it previously created down here but like I said access will do it for me and it did it created it for me it's the form here so it created it and it also inserted it in that wizard now the nice thing about this is is that it's still operable but these forms operate separately even though they're acting one in unison because of that relationship in other words I could come up here and say I want to create a new client so I would come down here and you can see the record navigation bar which is for the main form and then the record navigation bar for the inserted uh, sub form again acting independently because I can come in here and navigate within that sub form and I could come out here and navigate across the clients which of course will display their corresponding orders down below so if I want to go ahead and create a new uh, client come down here click on it and then come up oh boy this was designed terribly because I can't see the field it's invisible where is it and then go ahead and type in that uh, new client number then hit the tab key now you'll see the pencil up here it's in write mode because I'm adding a new customer here big G when I hit the tab key you see that the customer has been saved it automatically goes down into that subform where I can go ahead and enter in a new order and this order ID has the data type auto number so if I just tab outside of it and how do I know it's the auto number because it'll display new in parentheses so that way I can go ahead and let it automatically assign an order ID for this order without me having to type it in and select a date I'll say today hit the tab key and then when I'm done if I go ahead and hit the tab key it saves that record the pencil disappears so I've got a new client and also a new order let's go ahead and check it out because remember forms are based upon these uh, two tables here the first one the customer big G let's go ahead and double click open up the customer hey there's big G good and then what's the other one order 83 let's open up the book sales and let's go ahead and come down here click on the last record there it is 83 by the way if you can't see the fields they kind of shrunk up like that remember just hover over the right hand side of those column header labels until your pointer turns into arrows pointing in opposite directions then double click to expand it thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for great specials on my products please see the description below this video